All right, here is an idea for a challenge. All of them in the grooves, so hardest songs, 12 through 13s, back to back with no breaks, and I'll hopefully pass on the first try. <laughs> So yeah, it's a little endurance challenge more than anything, I would say, because I passed all these before. So yeah, I think I had that set because I played Vertex before. <laughs> I never use Holloway unless I'm playing Vertex. Alright, I'll stay quiet now and move the TV a smidge. <laughs> hey, hello everyone, and welcome to another random gameplay video, post-commentary time, and yeah, Delirium starts the bunch, I've got them all sorted by difficulty as usual, so I'm just gonna go from top to bottom. Delirium, as you know, starts with just some rather simple and slow hands to get you into the rhythm of things, but oh, I assure you, it's gonna get ugly pretty quick. <laughs> Like here, you, they want you to twist all around to do those, but I just end up double-stepping those stinkers because, you know, why not if you, I can hit them all? <laughs> Maybe I could be a little more accurate than that. Definitely I wanted the crossover on, but I just failed off on the crossover, but that's okay. As long as I pass everything back to back, I am a happy PK Gam. And now here comes the streams of doom. I told you it was going to get ugly pretty quick. None of these streams are all that complicated per se, but you know, just the whole thing of them tiring you out. So perhaps this wasn't the best one to start out with, considering that I need to save my stamina for later, but eh, all the 12s and 13s are pretty hard, so eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Beware of the stops and starts here, they're all rhythmic, so. Don't worry about them too much if you know the song well, so I'll play it on other difficulties first, probably. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not that important to know it, because you still have a lot of dance gauge probably at that time if you're up to playing 12, because it's not that complicated. But when you get to this ending stream here, this is where it's really going to be taxing your stamina, because it's a constant, like, 15-second stream of doom or so, so... Yeah, you just gotta stick with it and try and conserve as much stamina as possible. I did pretty decent there, I've gotta say, so I'm pretty pleased with that run. And not this, bad. Uh, yeah, not bad indeed. <laughs> now, normally I would put this like on a course or something, you know, all the songs in a row just to ensure there's no breaks, but speed mods. <laughs> yeah, playing uh, all the stuff at 1.5 speed for the sake of Vertex and Pandemonium. Eh, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyway, next song. I can keep it at times 3 speed for this one. So, back to post-commentary then, I suppose. <laughs> Now this is a real challenge, not any sort of like challenges like jumping out of a car challenge or something like that. This is, when I say challenge, an actual challenge. <laughs> like when I, you know, playing all these songs back to back and whatnot, it's endurance, it's a mental game, it's technique, it's everything, it's not just hurt yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why people are so easily fooled into don't doing those dumb challenges like that could kill them like that. Anyway, so Tell here, as you see, has those signature little step jumps there all over the place, and those things are deadly. By far the most deadly part of the song to get the hang of, but I've played it a whole bunch of times, so I've, I've sort of got the hang of it now. It's still difficult to get them all consistently in a single run, but I've got them enough that I can pass it consistently. So I am pretty pleased with the progress that I've made on In The Groove. Now watch out for this here, it's gonna come, it's gonna start with a jump and then it's gonna go immediately into a stream after that jump, so it's, instead of step jump, it's jump step to start off the stream, which is kinda tricky to get into. And yeah, sometimes I get some way offs in there as a result of that, because I get off sync, because of how awkward it feels. And you got some shock arrows going on here. No, not really. <laughs> sure, it looks like they could be, though. And now they're offset by a smidge there, so... And even if you hit them, they won't make your arrows disappear or anything like that. Like said, shock arrows, so yeah. 
And to finish off Tell here, we got sort of like a repeat of the beginning for the most part. Just a little stream upcoming. It's not any sort of big deal or anything like that. With some step jumps thrown into the mix. And oh, maybe... Oh no, it's not really as big of a stream as I thought. Well, <laughs> it's not like that middle stream or anything like that. It's like a step jump stream is what I, I guess mean. Yes, <laughs> I have gotten pretty consistent at these songs. That's why I believe I can do them all at once like this. <laughs> <clears throat> and next up, <laughs> click, 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 go, 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 Pika Gam, go, 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 go. Otherwise, that's not a stamina challenge if you're just waiting between songs. Just go as fast as you can. <laughs> that's kind of why I wanted to put him into course form, but you know, because the oh, speed, we go. speed mods that I was talking about, like this right here. This is the 1.5 hallway. Yeah, that's sort of dealio. Because of the ending of this and so this being the confirm button <laughs> and other things being the um uh like a higher speed mod like a three so this one's at a 1.5 pandemonium's a 1.5 at, at least in personal preference and whatnot but in the case of vertex here you gotta have it or at least i gotta have it on uh 1.5 in hallway because of the whole ending thing where it speeds up to ridiculousness it's not any faster to actually hit the arrows in comparison to other parts of the song, like in these rumbly areas here, that's actually faster than the stuff you'll see at the ending. But the thing about it is that it's scrolling so fast that you would not have enough time to react to the arrows that are coming if it's not on a hallway, so... Yeah, you either you'd have to memorize the ending or just do what I'm doing here on hallway. So, there you go. At least that's my recommendation, is 1.5 in hallway. Oh Ooh. no, Pika Gam, don't lose your focus on the slowdowns and stops, especially over here. It can be a little dicey. Okay, you're good. <laughs> yeah, a lot of Vertex is just, like, pure focus, because none of the patterns are, like, mega fast or anything like that, except for those, like, little 16th note rumbles thrown in there every so often. It's just a matter of focusing on what's before you and not on stuff like the mines, unless you actually have to get off the mines. You know, like if a mine's gonna be on an, coming up on an arrow that you're that you got a foot on or whatnot. But for the most part, it's relatively straightforward. I know I say that a lot in my dance game videos, but it really does feel that way on certain songs like this. But that, that right there is a little bit on the dicier side, so you might want to pause and go back and check out that pattern to see what I was trying to do there, but I was a little bit off, but alas, alas, we're okay. We, we still got enough dance gauge to recover it back up to full before we get to the death ending, which is coming up right about now. <laughs> and this is why 1.5 hallway comes into play, because it's pretty much unreadable. Yeah, I on 1.5 without hallway. Personal best there. Woo! Never before have I played Vertex that consi <clears throat> consistently. I usually hit like hit a bunch of mines and lose composure or something. <laughs> Just as I said. Let's focus on the steps themselves. And now after this we can go back to a more normal speed mod setup of uh, times 3 for Euphoria, and of course, Hallway is off, because I, I don't typically play on Hallway, it just looks weird to me. <laughs> like, I'm just so used to overhead that I just go with that. No, 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 you're too far, oh, Peek again. Oh, no, wait, oh, I, did, I did play it on uh, times 4, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, re I remember I played it on times 3 before, but I started playing it times 4 later on. Uh, due to the comfort factor. Uh, I made this video a, a good while back. This was on the older hard drive before the other one took a poop. So yeah, it's it's been sitting around. I, I just remembered I was like, oh yeah, I've got this to commentate. Huh. <laughs> so the beginning of Euphoria here is a lot of awkward, rapid 30 second oh, notes you? there, and also crossovers to throw into the mix as well. You can double step the crossover, but you cannot get by those 30 second notes without some serious foot speed, so be ready to vibrate your feet in that rhythm. And try and listen closely to the background rhythm to get an idea of how it sounds like. Like, listen here. Yeah. You, you gotta follow that 
three and five rhythm a whole bunch of times throughout the song like that, and I'd say that's the thing that got me the most trouble when I first was trying to pass this thing, because there's just so, so many of them, and then if you're off sync to them, you're gonna lose a lot of dance gauge. Now in here with the 72nd, the teal notes here, it's very similar to those 32nd notes, only they're, there's a slowdown, so they're a lot tighter together and it's harder to read. But it's still doable, just as long as you know that rhythm. It's, it, it may feel like you're hitting blind, but now if you see which, which note you're starting with and which ones you end with, you can just kind of alternate your feet across them, except when they're scattered around a lot. But luckily there's not a lot of scattered around a lot ones there in that slowdown section, because that's one of the nastiest areas there. And luckily it doesn't last too long. <laughs> and oh man, did Pika Garam just do a crossover there? I think he did! Oh man, excitement! <laughs> yeah, I, I do them like whenever I feel comfortable to do so, but... I don't know, it's like sometimes I do it, other times I don't. It's whatever I, I feel like at the given time. Well, the pass of it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that I can't do the crossover, it's just like, I don't know, it's my reflexes. They decide to do whatever they want to do. <laughs> Vibrations plus it wasn't in all the way. Alrighty, next up, Hardcore the North. This Two one. More. This one is definitely a times three error because it gets faster and faster as you go and it'll exceed um, 600 beats per minute if you're, um, I should say, the scroll speed will exceed 600 beats per minute if you're at uh, times four. So I go back to times three here to put it at a more comfortable spot. And we begin with some purples of dooms. So as simple as these patterns are, they're kind of awkward to actually get the feel of. <laughs> it's because they're rapidly changing between two separate sets of rhythms here, so it takes quite a lot of practice to get consistent at these. And it's been a little while, I remember, when I uh, made this video that I played hardcore in the north, so... And needless to say, I've got a couple flubs in there and whatnot. And then we come to the step jump section, which you have to get one foot off one arrow to avoid a mine while you do the step with the other foot, which is an awkward weight shift. Because you're basically just jumping on one foot to do that. <laughs> so it's like all jumps all the time, in a way. And then we go into the streams, which ends in a whole bunch of jumps at the end of said stream. None of these streams, again, not all that difficult or complicated or anything like that. It's just a thing of that stamina is a factor and whatnot, so... And there's our purple notes of dooms thrown at the ends of these streams now, so that's another little factor. As you see, I'm getting a little off-sync because it's been a while since I played it, so there it is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I could be pretty close to full comboing this, though, if I played it a lot nowadays because of the way that I've been playing the, the stamina songs and whatnot, so... Yeah, it seems like it's a more viable song for me now that I've, I'm getting the hang of that sort of thing, but at this time, it was still kind of kind of a thing that I had to be playing it a lot to really to really feel it out, but now I'm getting the hang of it in general. Anyway, now we're going into the final streams, which are a lot of, I guess you could say, repeats of the earlier streams, where they are simple streams, then they end off said streams with said purple notes in with the mix. And yeah, it, it just it's basically the same for the most part, except faster. I mean, yeah, they are different patterns, but I mean that they're simple enough that you'll be able to just point them out, I mean, just pick them out from the bunch and you'll be able to do them with reflex if you're playing at this sort of level. So they aren't that big of a deal other than the rhythm of them on their All own. Alright, now for the big one. Yeah. This could be the run ender. Oh boy. <laughs> Get all the soda you can get, Pika Gam. You're gonna need it. Because the 13, the one and only 13 pandemonium is coming up here. I put that one on uh, 1.5 speed and no hallway. This is not Vertex. <laughs> I'm a smidge nervous at this time, but I don't really think I need it to be. Because I can pass this consistently, it's just that, you know, I'm getting a little bit on the tired side, and I'm hoping, will I, I mean, I'm hoping that I'll be able to uh, get through it all, like, I'm like, will I be able to do this? Will I be able to do this? Well, we'll see, because it begins 
with some simple alternating feet on the same arrows, which kind of gradually transition to other double sets of arrows like that. And it goes with the tell-like jumps right after that. And watch out where you're holding your hold notes here, because the mines are <laughs> intertwined with those as well. So be ready to take your foot off an arrow when you see a mine coming up in said arrow. You got some jackhammers thrown in here, which I've seen people do foot switches on. I cannot get myself to mentally do foot switches, it just feels so weird. <laughs> I can do them sometimes, but it just feels so weird to do so, but in exchange I just do them as uh, jackhammers. It, it works fine for me, I suppose, but maybe I could be a little bit more accurate on them if I practice foot switches a bit more. Then we come to this middle section here, which surprisingly and ridiculously I managed a full combo, which I cannot believe here. Listen to this. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as I said, this was a while back, so I didn't really think I had that in me, but oh, I guess I did have it in me. <laughs> and then we got sort of like a ish, repeat ish of the beginning. Uh, coming up over here, yeah, it's nothing really anything different than before, other than, you know, it's, it's costing more and more of your stamina as you go, so you might have to push yourself more and more. But I'm mainly focused on stamina conserving techniques, like you'll see how little I'm actually moving my feet through all these songs, which is incredibly helpful if you just use heels and toes to do that, so try your best to get as efficient as possible with your movements, and you should be okay at passing these. Woo! Not a run ender. <laughs> I was in pretty good control throughout. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Ooh, new record to boot, too.